We okay. said though. Got his handwriting though. That's fifty gold. That's good. Maybe we could. Maybe you could learn it. Forge something. Send a letter to my mom saying, "Oh my gosh, I miss you so much." You can parent trap them. Mm. Oh, I was worried that we were going to get the parent trap. You can parent trap them. Oh. We got the parent trap. Oh, no. What did meet me here? And I, because I still love you. And then you send a letter to to him because you probably know your mom's handwriting. Yeah, obviously. I want to meet you at this place at this time. Oh my gosh. And we'll be waiting can in the bushes. And we can watch them reunite. <laughs> can we get Patty Dupont to play the Ruby of oh, Stock? Okay. We're gonna parent trap your parents. I can't wait. It's gonna be so great, you guys. Start playing, man. I'm gonna fall back behind them. Mm-hmm. And watch and make sure, you know, she's doing okay, but I'm going to send a message to my dad. Okay. Who I never checked with to make sure any of this was okay. When do you ever? Yeah, well. <laughs> We're coming up for. Bear trap. Could be there soon. Hey, Dad. You know. Crazy stuff happened. So, Mama and Beth's family are going to come stay with you for a while. Super important, they need to be kept safe. Help. There's a pause. And eventually, you're worried maybe he didn't hear it. And you get a response. Oh. Boy. Well. <sighs> and that's it. <laughs> Turning to the trap door, you descend the stairs where you hear conversation and shifting, the familiar, like, of like wood scraping across ground and furniture being shifted. There's a big hustle and bustle, and as you step down, you can see a bunch of people are in the process of kind of cleaning and arranging things. Mm. As you see the back of the gentleman, he turns around and goes, <sighs> trains his eyes immediately on Marion. Welcome. Come, come. Um, settle in the space. Drinks, anyone? Uh, you, those of a decent passive perception notice, like he's, he's a pretty damp fellow at most times, but he's particularly drippy at the moment. <laughs> Dri- drippy. <laughs> drippy, drippy. Drippy, drippy. I squeeze my mama's hand. She kind of takes a moment. Well, thank you, gentlemen, very much for, uh, taking us into your protected space for a time. Uh, it's much appreciated. And he kind of gives a nod. <clears throat> well, uh, <laughs> come sit. Uh, uh, and he kind of scratches his head. <laughs> I'm going to um, put my arm around her waist and whisper in her ear, how are you, are you okay? Uh, I think so. It's a, a lot has happened very quickly, and, uh... Sure, her eyes are just locked on the gentleman as he's, like, telling people to, like, clean tables off and getting a drink, and you see him, like, take a cup and take a, a glass, kind of, like, a giant glass jug of some sort of brackish liquor and just, like, go, 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 go into his cup before... Poof. Takes a quick swig and kind of like gets himself settled, turns around, <clears throat> and she's just staring straight at him. He seems nervous, Mama. I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go sit at a, a corner table over there? I can send him over, or? Certainly. Okay. As, as you're watching this, the gentleman kind of walks over towards you, you know, kind of crossing off your path as Marion goes and sits and goes, Jester, Hi, can I, Papa. Can I have a word with you? Of course. We'll be right back. <laughs> and he leads you up the staircase to his private chambers upstairs. And as you enter, he kind of closes the door. <sighs> what have you done? Oh, well, 
Oh, no. You <clears throat> seem very upset. I'm just a little caught off guard. I okay. was not expecting this. I know. I know. I know. What are you? Well, do you want to keep her safe or not? Well, of course. I just... This is important. You think I would just willy-nilly bring her here? Yes. No. She's very scared of traveling. This is very dire. That's true. And you're the only person in the entire world who could keep her safe right now. <laughs> she needs you as a protector. Sock on the doorknob. Hello? Hello? Who is it? Am I interrupting anything? Are you maybe having some secret? I can't hear you. Who is it? <laughs> Just a second. Near the footsteps. Hello. <laughs> Two, three locks undo before hello, it swings hello, hello, open. Hello, hi. And there you see <laughs> the gentleman, like deep, deep blue cerulean uh, robe, kind of crossed over in front. Oh, Jester, hi. I, I didn't know you were coming. No, I know. I didn't tell you. Of course. Where? Are, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's the morning. It's it's just past daybreak. Make a perception check, sure. <laughs> As the gentleman is standing there, kind of like pushed into, you glance over the shoulder and mostly covered by the covers of the bed, you do see the familiar red horns <gasps> and uh, appearance of a sleeping Marion faced away towards the <gasps> fucking work. brown. Oh, shit. Yeah. oh my god! Are you just oh my gosh, we had I'm so happy for I push underneath his arm and run. And <laughs> just, just her. <laughs> <laughs> you rush in just as Marion's like rolling over in bed. Mama, mama. Just her. <laughs> and immediately she stands up, full, no clothes, just gives you a big embrace. Oh, and no. <laughs> Here's some sheets. <laughs> <laughs> she runs over and gets her robe and puts it on. Or her, she doesn't have a robe, she has her, her outfit she wore from before. <laughs> What are you guys up to? Yeah. Well, and Marion just goes. Ha. Okay. Well, the world isn't ending. Isn't that so wonderful? I told him, and that is wonderful news. And I'm so glad that you're okay. And um, the gentleman's like, we're catching up on uh, a lost time mm, conversations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know. Yeah. Um, so, are you totally good here? Did you want to come stay at a cemetery instead, maybe for a week? What? <laughs> Marion kind of looks oh at him and looks God. at you, and he goes, I do appreciate the offer, but uh, not quite my aesthetic. Right. And Marion goes, that's all right, Chester. We've been good here for the time being and just yeah. waiting. If you say that everything is done, then we sh are we good to go back? Well, no. I just want to make sure that you're okay here and you don't need to go back to Nicodronus right away because that's probably still not safe, but I will let you know as soon as it is. Oh, I don't mind staying here a bit longer. Gentleman <laughs> just goes, grabs a half-drinking glass of wine from the side of his bed for his early morning drink and just goes, She'll be safe here for as long as she wishes to stay, and when things are safe, let us know, and we'll go ahead and bring her back to her home in Nicodronus. And Marion kind of looks over at him. You can come and visit whenever you like. She looks in a harder look, he goes, and I can come visit, right? And she gives him a harder look, and he goes, we have a lot to talk about. This is all complicated for me. <laughs> I need another drink. He goes and like starts pouring the wine back into the glass and she looks back at you and she gives you like a wink and a smile. 